Imagine if we didn't have a cart. No. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am back again with yet another video, and today I want to talk to you guys all about thrift shopping. <laughs> so recently I've been going thrift shopping a lot more than I have been shopping at like normal stores, just because I love the experience of it. You can take up a whole day if you want to and spend it with your friends looking for unique pieces that are a lot cheaper than like newer pieces and you can revamp your whole wardrobe in a single day and spend a quarter of the money that it would take to do that at a normal store. And not only is thrift shopping cheap and fun, it's a really sustainable practice and it's great for the environment because you are reusing older pieces. So today I just want to share with you guys 10 tips on how to thrift shop better and just kind of what I do when I'm thrift shopping. So tip number one is to keep an open mind. Of course you can go in with an idea of what you want, like last time I went thrift shopping I went in with the idea that I wanted a denim skirt and I didn't find a denim skirt but I found so many other pieces that I wouldn't have found if I had just gone in looking for that one piece, if that makes any sense. So if you go in there with a general idea of maybe I want a denim skirt or I want a band tee or something like that, you can narrow down your search but at the same time you don't want to eliminate like all the other departments just because you focus on this one thing. And also, if you want something like a denim skirt, don't just get discouraged when you don't find a perfectly made denim skirt. You can look at some denim jeans and you can always turn that into a skirt too. So that leads me to my second tip, which is to shop all of the departments. Don't just shop women's or men's or kids or whatever you are. Go and venture out into the other sections. A lot of my shirts I found in the men's section, like this shirt right here I got thrift shopping. And yes, I had to pass a lot of dads on my way to finding this shirt, but that's okay. Like, <laughs> nobody's gonna judge you just because you're in a section that doesn't match up with your physical appearance. A lot of the items get mixed in and you can take a lot of inspiration from shopping in different departments, so just don't limit yourself to that one section. So for tip number three, I always suggest bringing a friend with you when you're shopping. I personally love shopping with my friends just because they can find pieces that fit me and I can find pieces that fit them like it's just a team effort and it, it's an easier way to cover the entire store and make sure that you don't miss anything a lot of my items my friends have actually found and then they've tried it on it won't fit them so then I try it on and BAM there we go a piece that I love so a lot of the times I'll just skim the row or the rack and then my friends will go back and like find a piece that I totally miss so it's great to go with a friend not only because they can help you find items but also because it's just more fun some people thrift alone, but I don't know, I just, that's not my style. <laughs> so for tip number four, if you find a piece that you're not sure how you feel about it, just put it in your basket. So if you put a piece back that you're not sure about, by the end of your day shopping, you might want, really want that piece and then you have no clue where it is or it could be taken just because it is a thrift shop, they're not going to have multiple of the same thing. So I always suggest just putting it in your basket and then waiting until the end and sorting through your whole shopping basket to see what you actually want. And that leads me to tip number five, which is to try everything on if you can. So that piece that you found when you, that you weren't so sure about, if you try it on, it could be a piece that you end up falling in love with. And the same thing goes for a piece that you think is amazing. If you try it on, it may not fit perfectly and you may hate it. So I always suggest just trying stuff on because why not? So for tip number six, I suggest visualizing the outfit. If you're trying it on and it doesn't go exactly with what you're wearing then, obviously you have other clothes to wear with. So just try to visualize an outfit and if you still can't figure out what you'd wear with it, you can always go back looking for another piece to wear with that. But you don't want to just buy one piece that you're going to have sitting there because you can't wear anything with it. So make sure you can visualize an outfit before you buy something. And that leads me to tip number seven. If you're visualizing an outfit and that piece just still isn't working just because it doesn't fit well, don't put it back just yet. If you can, if it's a simple alteration like finishing the hem or taking it in a size, that's not a deal breaker. You can always do that and you can always DIY stuff, which is actually tip number eight. You can always change things up to fit you better and show your unique personality. And also for DIYs, I love to go to thrift shopping to find basic pieces. Like for my tie-dye shirts, I went in and I just bought a bunch of like white t-shirts that were way cheaper than if I went to like a Target and bought a pack of 10. And there's also like a lot of different sizes and cuts that you can buy at thrift shops that you won't find at a normal store. So that's always a tip to DIY the item and change it up to make it more unique or to go thrifting and find a piece that you can use for your DIY, like a basic t-shirt, if that makes any sense. I'm, I hope I'm making sense. I haven't filmed a video in so long, I do not know what I'm saying right now. So tip number nine, I 
can't count. I've been out of school for like two weeks and I already can't count. But tip number nine is to go to more than one place. If you just go to one place, you may miss a lot of items that you could have found at a different place, obviously. So I suggest going to maybe like two or three thrift shops. Don't go all out of your way if you're not really feeling it. Make sure you're in the mood to go thrift shopping because this thing could just because thrifting could take the whole day if you really want to find good pieces. So yeah, I suggest just designating a whole day to it and going to as many places as you can without tying yourself out. Make sure you're not rushing through the stores either. So I suggest just going to like two or three, but definitely don't just go to one. Final tip, tip number 10 is to go thrift shopping after the weekend, like on a Monday or Tuesday morning, just because a lot of people bring in things on the weekend and then you want to give them time, like the workers time to sort through it and put everything out. And if you go thrift shopping on the weekend, you may just be getting what's left over from that whole week and you're missing out on a lot of pieces that could be bought in. And yeah, I know it's kind of hard to do that during the school year or if you work, but personally for me during summertime, it's a lot easier just because I don't have to worry about going to school and a lot of the times I work work part-time like in the evening so summer is just a great time to do that because I'm free during the week unlike I would be during the school year so yeah those are all my tips and don't forget to enjoy yourself that's like tip number 11 but obviously like have fun is just it's a given like you're gonna have fun if you're not having fun while you're shopping then you're doing something wrong so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see a video of me hauling when I got thrift shopping or altering it and DIYing it you can just leave a comment down below or give it this video a like to show that you enjoyed it I mean I hope you guys enjoyed it I was kind of all over the place a little bit rambly just because I haven't filmed a video in so long and I apologize for that but it's summertime so I'm definitely gonna try to get back on the bandwagon and do my very best so that's all I have for today stay rad stay fab and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.